The results of the particle size analysis of a soil are as follows. The liquid limit and plasticity index of the minus number 40 fraction of the soil are 25 and 20 respectively. Classify it by the Ashto system. So this is the particle size analysis result. Passing, passing number 10 is equal to 42. Passing number 40 is equal to 35. Passing number 200 is equal to 20. So the liquid limit and the plasticity index are given. So before uh, going to the solution, it would be best if we have a copy of the uh, Ashto classification table, just like shown here. Okay, so uh, if you can download this one through the internet or you can print a copy from the Geotechnical Engineering Book of Brahadas. Okay, so let's start the solution. Okay, number one, since only 20% of the soil passes number 200, the soil is considered as granular. So, ang boundary point kumbaga ng granular and silt clay material is 35%. So, ibig sabihin nun, um, just like in this tab table, pag ang percent passing number 200 is equal to 35% or less, it is considered granular. Pag more than 35%, so ibig sabihin 36% and above, it is considered as silt clay materials. So we can we can therefore initially conclude that it can either be a1, a3, or a2. Okay. Next, the soil is probably not a1 and a3. Why? Because the characteristics of fraction passing number 40 will not satisfy their criteria. Hence, it is A2. So, ano ba yung characteristic pass ng fraction passing number 40? So, for A1, for it to be classified as A1, the liquid limit, wala siyang liquid limit dapat. Kasi non-plastic. Um, pla uh, meron siyang amount ng silt material, pero hindi siya enough to determine the liquid limit. So, the plastics, plasticity index is the only criteria for A1. And the maximum value is 6. Pero ang given na, na plasticity index ng soil is 20. So, crush out na ang A1. And then, for A3, it's non-plastic. So, wala siyang plasticity index and liquid limit. It is not probably uh, A1 or A3. So, dito na lang tayo sa A2. It can either be A2, A2-4, A2-5, A2-6, or A2-7. Next, the soil is probably A2-4 and A2-6 because the liquid limit is below 40. So, for it to be classified as A2-4, the liquid limit must not exceed 40 kasi 40 max man and uh, for it to be classified as A26 40 din ang kanyang uh, liquid limit so dito na lang tayo magkakatalo sa plasticity index so since the plasticity index is equal to 20 so saan sa dalawa ang mag satisfy na criteria Malamang, hindi pwede si A24 kasi ang limit na plasticity index is 10. Tapos si A26, ang kanyang minimum is 11. So de therefore, we can uh, say that the soil's classification is A26. And then, after determining the classification, we now compute the group index. So, the group index is computed as 0 0.01 times F minus 15 times PI minus 10, where F is the percentage of fraction passing number 200, or the fraction passing number 200. So, F is equal to 20. So, we now compute GI is equal to 0 0.5, but the group index is not decimal in form. Dapat whole number siya. So we will um, round it up or round it down. 
So it can either be 1 or 0. Okay, so in this, in this case, let's just say that the group index is 0. Therefore, the soil classification is A2-6, then 0. And the lower the group index, the better is the soil as a subgrade material. 